Hello, this video is about how to use your mobile phone to scan your documents. You don't require a scanner anymore. You can just use your mobile phone to scan your documents uh, by using the app called Office Lens. It's a free app. It can be installed in your iPhone, iPad or even an Android phone. Just download and install the app. I'm just trying to scan the document. So you have many options like whiteboard business card. I'm just selecting the option as document. You can just see the my pointer and then click on. You could see that there is a border, an orange line where it exactly tries to scan the document. That's that's how it, the tool works. So I've just clicked on OK. So now, yeah, you could see the document is already scanned. I'm just clicking on done and saving it into my photo library to show you how the document exactly looks. OK, now let me open my photo library to show you the scanned document. Yeah, this is his document. It's actually pretty clear and you know the text is very fine. Uh, since I have just showing in my phone it looks very small. But actually the uh, the scanned document looks perfect. Uh, to, do, to show you the difference I am just taking a, clicking a photo of it. I just clicked it. See when I click it as a photo I get the table as well. So I just wanted to show you how the scanner works and how a normal photo it looks like. So I am just trying to edit my uh, photo I am just cropping out the borders so, yeah so this one is the photo image and the previous one is the scanned image actually you could see that the tool actually enhances the image so the document looks much more clear and font and everything is like perfect Another important usage of this app is like scanning a photo. Uh, especially we might have some old albums and all where we don't have a soft copy, right? So in order to digitalize all those photos, it's so easy. Even if the photo is stuck to the album, you just have to scan it using your office lens. It perfectly scans the photo alone. I'm just showing you how it see. Only the photo has been scanned and it looks so much enhanced and clear. So this way, we can scan all the photos in our album and just save it into a digital media. So we don't even have to worry even if the album gets spoiled in future, we'll have all the soft copies too. And it's all just a nice memory, right? So it actually helps in uh, scanning the photos and all in a perfect mode. Now I just wanted to show you like how we can uh, scan a book. I mean if there are multiple pages and you wanted to scan and make it into a PDF file that's also so easy I just wanted to show you I'm just scanning the first page instead of clicking on done at the left side I'm just pointing out there is a camera kind of uh, icon with plus sign you just click on that so which means that first page has been scanned and we are just going to do with the second page so now I'm just scanning the second page so at the right side you'll see like the, uh, the image of, image of the first one and there's one number which means that one there's a page one has been scanned so now I'll just click the second page okay the second page also has got scanned now let me click on the plus icon to scan the third page so so in, at the right side you'll, you can note it that it has two numbers which means like two pages have been scanned into a document okay so now I'm just scanning my third page so I'll just click on yeah so it's done actually you can scan uh, uh, to a maximum of 10 pages like this and make it into a PDF not more than that as of now the tool supports only 10 pages so now uh, I just scanned three and I just clicked on done just wanted to show you quickly how so instead of saving it into my photo library I'm saving it as a PDF file so it's now stored as a PDF I just wanted to show you the document see so now it's a PDF all the three pages has been saved in one file as PDF so you can just make it I mean you can scan your book and make it into a PDF file like this I just wanted to show you how it looks I have another app called document I'm just saving it there so below you can see like one of three so which means like it has three pages so it's so easy you know you can just scan a book and make it into a PDF in no time 
now i just wanted to show you an important feature that is like converting an uh, uh, image into an editable text format uh, sometimes like we might have a document we just wanted to do some minimal changes but we might not have a soft copy in such case we need to type the entire document again and then do the changes uh, which is tedious so with this tool it becomes very easy you just scan a document and uh, convert it into an editable form so it scans the document um, I just wanted to show you that instead of saving it as a, as, as a photo I'll we can save it as a word or a PowerPoint so I'm just showing you I'm just going to save it as a word word document now I'm just opening this in a word yeah you could see this is an editable text now uh, below you will have the image also so this one is image to show you the difference I am just going to shrink this image so if you wanted to keep this you can just use it or you can delete it from the word but the content from this document that we have scanned has been transferred into an editable text now in my word just to show you, I am just going to edit this document, insert some text and show you that it is in an editable format. So I am just going to type, yeah, so it is as simple as that, you can just do a normal editing that you do with your Word document. Only thing is that you might, uh, you might have to do a spell check because sometimes like example the word internal R and N, it has actually scanned it as M. Uh, so it happens so you just do a spell check before you save it uh, only that otherwise it's so easy now i'm just going to show you how we can scan a business card and save it into your contact so there you have an option as business card documents business card i'm just pointing it out to you so select that option and scan the card so i'm just scanning it so now you will see that instead of saving it as an image you will have an option to save it as a contact plus image so you can just select that option so you will have the same file saved it into uh, two files one is like image and another one will be a vcf file so, uh, i'll just show you see one is image and another one is contact vcf file so when you open that it will be your contacts the name the phone number email address and everything will will come automatically into your contacts so this is really useful if this video was useful please like share and comment and to watch many such videos please subscribe to our channel on the go bus and don't forget to click on the bell icon to receive our updates instantly thank you